Hello darlings, I am Cassandra. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for coming. For those of you who are new to my channel, let me introduce you to the Jungle Beauty Goddesses, the life-size fabric sculptures, cloth dolls that you see sitting behind me. I created these dolls and as I was sewing them, these dolls would not stop talking to me and this inspired my Jungle Beauty Goddess book series. So far I have book one, two, and three and this led to me creating my Jungle Beauty Goddess Oracle deck that I am going to use today to give you a reading from your inner hawk. If you are interested in making cloth dolls, I have a plethora of free cloth doll tutorials on my channel. All you have to do is click the button right here. Now as to your inner hawk, we all have an inner hawk. That part of us that has ruined relationships, cost us opportunities, probably cost us a couple jobs or two. You know, there have been times we tried to keep our hawk at bay, but hawk said, you know, I got feelings too. And when hawk comes out, yeah. You know, I think Hawk used to say, you wouldn't like me when I'm angry. Well, in today's reading, we are going to explore some concerns from our inner Hawk. Thank you so much for watching. Hello, darlings. To better align your mind, body, and soul with the butterfly color that most resonates with the message you need to hear, please take a moment to participate in a brief meditation by placing the tip of your tongue at the top of your mouth directly behind your teeth. Take in a deep breath to the count of nine, hold it to the count of nine, and release it to the count of nine. Do this three times. Wait a moment to allow your mind to settle into your spirit and your spirit to settle into your body. You will feel a shift in your energy when this happens. Use your intuition to select the butterfly color or colors that resonate with your beingness or listen to each message to tap into the collective mind. Thank you so much for watching. I call on forces higher than I to unleash the wisdom I hold inside. Let this message be compassionate and true to show someone what they must do. Tap into the infinite wisdom of your own inner guide. Ask it to reveal to you what is hidden deep inside. Take what you need and ignore what doesn't apply by selecting the color of the right butterfly. Your thoughts create your reality, so please keep this in mind when selecting a pick a card message to help you define your unconscious core beliefs that may be unknown at this time. Listen to the whispers of your own inner voice and let it help you make the true butterfly choice with the lessons and insights that will help you grow and lead you in the direction that you choose to go. Let's see what the Jungle Beauty Goddesses have to say to help you find your way. The links for the butterfly colors are located in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching. Hello, darling. If you selected the purple butterfly, this reading is for you. So first I'm going to go over the cards and then I am going to give you my collective intuition about your hand and see if there's an additional message for you from the Septarian Alien Star Beam. So the first card I have for you regarding a message from your inner hawk is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Sinai, who represents our second chakra, which has to do with our creativity and our emotional needs. She says, surprise yourself, do something you have never done before. The next card I have for you from your inner Hulk is, uh oh. You have a card from Jungle Beauty Goddess Chalby, and Jungle Beauty Goddess Chalby's message to you is, boldly fight for what you believe in. 
So the next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Afar. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Afar is a message to you from your inner hulk is start where you are with what you have. And the last card I have for you is from Jungle, Jungle Beauty Goddess Sayanai, who represents the second chakra, our emotions, our ability to be creative, and she says to be adventurous. So what I'm picking up from this particular hand is that your inner hulk feels neglected. Yeah, your inner hulk wants to come out and play. Your inner hulk feels it says you have the card just from Jungle Beauty Guys Sinai that says to be adventurous. You have another card from her that says surprise yourself, do something you've never done before. The next time you are communicating with friends, family, or somebody on your job, or with other just people in general, what I'm picking up from this hand is that you're the type of person who like to ghost people or suppress your emotions as opposed to really feeling confident to call that person or communicate with that person and tell them how you really feel. That is that is the really big uh, message I'm picking up from you. And then we have a, the card from Jungle Beauty Goddess. Uh, Chobi that clearly says, let me just get her in focus again. Look, she's wearing her dinosaur mask. And it says, boldly fight for what you believe in. So listen, oh my God, this hand is so clear. Your inner Hulk wants to get out yes she wants you to unlock the cage she wants you to unacknowledge her and she's very your inner hawk is very docile and um, when I say docile let me just say what is the word I'm looking for you know when somebody is passive aggressive passive aggressive this is the type of person when they're angry they don't really tell you how they feel they just kind of ghost you or they just don't talk to you or they ignore you but at the same time they're yearning to communicate with you they want to you know they don't know how to they fear being rejected and that's also a part of that second chakra um, our ability um, the jungle beauty goddess Sinai our second chakra is responsible for our emotional attachment to other people like sometimes people don't don't feel um, they don't feel safe being vulnerable that's it they don't feel safe being vulnerable they don't feel safe saying hey you know I really miss you like hey dude why didn't you call me or what's going on like where have you been or um, did you get my message do you under you know what I'm saying so instead they just they kind of sulk and they just stop speaking to you and they just they disappear and the, this hand is saying your inner hulk is saying look child the next surprise yourself do something you haven't done before what your inner hulk is asking you to do is if there is somebody that you really want to talk to call them text them email them get in touch with them like don't assume that a person um got a message from you or that this person knows that you're upset or that you're angry they're saying surprise yourself and just say hey i miss you hey um what's going on like don't go into the mode of you know self-protection um just you know sometimes people feel they're afraid of their vulnerability they're afraid of being rejected and so what they do is they reject other people and they just end up having relationships where you know they miss out on a lot of opportunities with people who could enrich their lives because they are too afraid to just really just calmly and beautifully say how they honestly feel so your inner hulk wants you to fight boldly fight for what you believe in your inner hulk wants you to reach out to whether you if you want to ask for a raise if you want to ask a person um, you know where's this relationship headed or you know why haven't you called me or what's going on with you they want you to do something different and actually express your emotions um yeah it says start where you are with what you have and what they're saying is sometimes when people are venturing out to do something that they've never done before they feel like oh my god I, I, you know I can't you know actually reach out and talk to someone 
unless I, you know, go to counseling or take a communication class or um, maybe this is just too much. But your inner hawk is saying, look, just start where you are. If you don't feel confident enough to text that person, then email that person. And if you don't feel, you know, comfortable emailing that person, text that person or call that person or leave a note on their door. Like, start where you are. Like, don't feel that you have to you know do something huge but your inner hulk is sleeping and yeah he she wants to wake up she wants to come on and play um she's very uh she's very neglected yeah whoever has this hand your inner hulk is wants to wants you to stand up more for yourself and to be vulnerable and to reach out to people and tell people how you feel uh, without feeling rejected so that is the message I have from your cards and now I'm going to ask the Septarian serving if there's an additional message for you thank you so much for coming I'm trying to get lipstick on you so is there an additional message for this person from their inner hawk The funny thing about life is that we think when we protect ourselves that we can avoid tragedies, hurt, pain, and disappointment. But those things are a natural part of human existence. It is so important for you to share how you feel. Your feelings are your gauge. To how your soul is adjusting to its mission on planet earth your soul really doesn't know what it doesn't remember why it incarnated in this particular lifetime it only remembers through emotions and feelings and being able to connect to and express your emotions and feelings is the only way your soul is going to know if it is meeting its goals, aligning with its purpose, and completing its mission as you agreed to before incarnating. So please take a moment to think about how you really feel. Be brave and speak your truth. Let people know how you feel without showing anger. You can tell people calmly how you feel, how they've hurt you, how you feel disappointed, how you miss them. The more you open up to people, the more they will love you, the closer you will feel to them. You cannot feel close to another human being without expressing your emotions. The language of feelings, the language of emotions is how humans communicate with each other. It's how you know who to trust, who to love. Even if someone betrays your trust, at least you know that. But if you never trust anyone, you won't know how it feels to experience profound love. So our message to you is to please find a way to express yourself, to express your emotions. We want you to write a letter to someone you miss, to someone that you want to apologize to, or someone that you wish would apologize to you. If there is someone that you have a message for, whether it is an employer, because you feel that you were treated unfairly, if it is a friend who you feel did not call you back or did not respect you, we want you to write them a letter and write it from your heart. Take this letter and tuck it away and say, thank you. 
This is the first step in getting in contact with your emotions. When you see that person, there will be an energy shift and this will be an opportunity for you to express what was written in your letter. Once you calmly and politely tell this person how you feel, you may discard the letter. That is all. Thank you. I would never do that. I would never think to do that. So this is the message for you from the Septarian being, from your inner Hulk. I really hope this message helps someone. Thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Hello, darling. If you selected the red butterfly, this message is for you from your inner hawk. First, I'm going to go over the cards, and then I'm going to see if there's an additional message for you from this beautiful, Termuline star alien being. So the first card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara and her message for you is your destiny is what you decide to do. The next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Namib and her message to you is your soul Wait, your soul is hungry, feed is solitude, walks in nature, and take sleep, I'm sorry, and take deep, slow breaths. Okay, so far it seems like your, your hawk wants you to get rooted, child. Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara represents our root chakra, which has to do with our relationship with our ancestors, our community, with the earth, with ourself, our mission on this planet. And it says your destiny is what you decide to do. My intuition is telling me that you may be a person who, and I do need to see the other cards, but what's coming to me is that you may be a person who kind of feel like this is just who I am. This is who I am and this is how I respond to things and people just have to accept this. And the cards want me to tell you, the Spirit is telling me to tell you that, you know, you are not controlled by anything. Your destiny is what you decide to do and that you can change your behavior. And if you change your behavior, change how you respond to situations, like I'm getting the, the, the impression from this hand that your hulk is running your life, child. Yes, your hulk is tearing down buildings, um, you know, tearing down relationships, saying whatever you want to say, getting angry over little things, small things. You're the kind of person you probably have burnt a lot of bridges. I'm just, this is what I'm picking up from this hand. And you kind of feel like, well, this is the way God made me. This is just who I am. People just got to accept it. People just get on my nerve. I don't, I'm not taking nothing off of nobody. And you, the, your inner hawk is saying, look, we don't have to um, just come out and talk to people any kind of way. Your destiny is what you decide to do. You don't have to react to situations in your life the way you do. You're not a monkey. You're not a, you're not a person who just, you know, feel like, they, you know, what they made me do it. They made me lose it. There, this, you know, your inner hawk is saying, look, nobody need to make us lose it. We come out when we feel like it, okay? So let me just see what else is going on with you. Um, the next card I have for you from your inner hawk is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Sahara, who represents our throat chakra, our ability to communicate clearly, to hear the truth and speak the truth. She says, if the answer is yes or no, you have not asked the right questions. Uh, again, I feel like your inner hawk is saying that you I think you kind of like I don't want to say blow up I don't, your inner hawk is like kind of running things but when we said well, should I quit my job what, wait is is the question should you quit your job or should you adjust your attitude I mean like we've all had jobs where we really had a thing or two we wanted to tell somebody right but we didn't because we wanted to stay employed or we've been in relationships where we just you know, sometimes you say whatever you want to a person and then you think that that's not going to impact how they feel or how they respond to you because you feel like this is just who I am. I'm getting the impression that you're the kind of person who feel you can say and do whatever you want to say and do to other people. I, let me just back up a little bit because you feel like it's your right. Like, I'm just going to speak my truth. I'm going to say what I want to say. And 
when things fall down, you kind of feel like that's the way it is. That's just life. But your inner Hulk is saying, look, control, let's get some control here. We don't have to go off on people. We don't have to respond and react to situations. Um, no, the question is not, should I leave my husband or should I leave my girlfriend? Should I leave my job? Should I, you know, never talk to my friend again? Should I, if you're asking questions like, you know, you know, maybe I'm just done with this person. I think your inner Hulk is saying, if you're asking, it says, if you're, if the answer is yes, or, if the answer is yes or no, you have asked, or, you have asked, wait, I'm sorry. If the answer is yes or no, you have not asked the right questions. So this means that it's not a simple yes or no, should you quit your job? I mean, it could be a question of, well, maybe I should just change, you know, when my boss is in a bad mood or when my boss asking for certain things. I may not like it, but I'm just going to suck it up. I'm not going to go off. You know what I mean? Um, I'm working with my coworkers and yes, they're getting on my last nerve, but I'm just going to control myself because my destiny is what I decide to do. I'm not controlled by other people. So I have one more card for you from your inner Hulk. And your card is from Journal Beauty Goddess Kalahari. And her message to you is, sometimes love means hanging on. Wow. So this is your heart chakra card. Let me tell you what is coming to me from this, coming to me from your hand collectively. Your inner Hulk has been in control. Um, she comes out to play frequently. And it has caused a lot of turmoil with some relationships with other people in your life. Whether it's your job, whether it's a personal relationship or friendships. Um, but I'm getting the feeling that your inner Hulk is like, <laughs> I do what I want to do, baby. All right. And she is saying, look, this is not working for us because our life could be so much more enjoyable if we kind of figure out how we can get along better with other people. So if you are considering leaving your mate or um, somebody, your job, I f it says sometimes love means hanging on. I feel like your inner Hulk is asking you to learn how to communicate clearly and to speak to people um, from a place that is not angry or mean-spirited or I don't want to use the word mean-spirited guys I'm sorry that is not you know I think you're a type of person when you get hyped up you go from zero to a hundred and you may say things in a way that is not as polite or as articulate or as calm as you could have said it or and I'm also thinking you may be the kind of person that when things happen you don't see anything and you just like explode so exploding is kind of like your your way of, of communicating and um, and you feel like it's just the way it is you know you have the card that says you have the root chakra card from Katara but it says your destiny is what you decide to do. It's telling you to ground and root yourself and not to react to your emotions and do what you decide to do. Not just let yourself just, you know, give in to your emotions and tear down relationships. So when it says sometimes love means hanging on, if you're thinking about quitting your job, it says if you're asking if, if the question is yes or no, your inner hook is in the question. If the answer is yes or no, you're not right asking the right questions. Your inner hawk is saying, look, the question is not, um, should you quit your job? You know, the question is, what can we do to keep our job? Because we need to hang on to our job. It's not should we leave our, you know, mate, our girlfriend or our boyfriend or whomever we're dating or whoever we're married to. The question is, how can we improve our communication skills so that we're able to have healthy and loving relationships with other people this is the message that i am receiving from your inner hawk so now i am going to ask this beautiful termuline star alien being if there is an additional message for you from your inner hawk so is there an additional message from this person thank you So let's see if there's an additional message for you. You have some deep-seated issues that have not been resolved from your childhood. The way you respond to 
to people has been a pattern in your life. We suggest that you talk to someone that you trust deeply. There were some trust issues that happened during your childhood. And this caused you to shut down from communicating. So in order to get along with other people, you always kept your true feelings hidden. And when you would become angry or upset, all of your feelings would come to the surface. This has been the way that you have been able to survive in the world. Keeping your true feelings hidden, not trusting people. You must break this pattern or your life will not be as happy and healthy as it could be. The turmoil, turmoil in your life from your explosions has hurt many friendships, relationships with yourself, your family. You really don't trust yourself either because you are not in contact with your true emotions. We want you to begin journaling every day and we want you to talk about how you feel how you feel about your job, how you feel about your family, how you feel about anything that's going on in the world. Talk about how you feel every day. Get in contact with your feelings. We also suggest that you work on your second chakra with, a, with carnelian gemstones. This will help you heal some of the trust issues that developed during your childhood. We would also like for you to work on your throat chakra, your fifth chakra, with blue gemstones. In particular, work with sodalite. This will help you connect with your truth, your inner truth, so that you will learn how to communicate your feelings without exploding and know what feelings are important and what information needs to be revealed. That is all. Thank you. So that is the message I have for you from the star alien being, I'm the termuline star alien being. I really hope this message helps someone Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Hello darlings. If you selected the gold butterfly, this reading is for you from your inner hawk. First, I'm going to go over the cards and then I'm going to see if there's an additional message for you from this beautiful star alien being. So the first card I have for you is from the matter. And the matter is the, sorry about that. The matter is the father of the jungle beauty goddesses. He rep represents dark energy and matter. And his message to you is self-knowledge makes you invincible. So knowing yourself now um, prevents you from like having explosions or letting your hawk out. You know when to let your hawk out. I don't know yet. Let me look at the rest of these cards. But self-knowledge makes you invincible, which means that you're the kind of person you know how to conduct yourself and get what you want and especially since you have the matter the matter is like creator of the universe and he's very it's a very powerful powerful card which shows me that you're a very powerful being and that you know how to um, you know communicate with other people and control conditions and circumstances to get what you want okay so let's see what else is going on so oh, 
So the next card I have for you, you have an extra-dramatic energy. Okay, so you're oh, you are a wise one. It says, assert your divine power. Wow. Self-knowledge and assert your divine power. So you're pulling in the matter energy who is creator of the universe, which means that assert your divine power. Oh, you know what I'm picking up from your hand? You know a lot about a lot of things. I'm talking about like... Um, magic and um, spells and ancient wisdom you have a lot of knowledge you child mm, yeah I get the feeling you're not your hulk is not a person who would explode you take care of people in other ways that's what I'm picking up you you have a divine you know who you are. You know that you are God. You know you are Goddess. You know your power. The next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess. Afar from your inner Hulk. And her message to you is you can create whatever you want. Yeah, man. Listen, dude. I mean, person who's watching this video a wonderful being what I'm picking up from this hand is that you are a person who has a lot of knowledge a lot of wisdom a lot of resources and um, you are a gentle giant you don't really you know you don't explode but you know how to protect yourself you know how to take care of yourself and if somebody cross you I feel sorry for them John yeah, you, you're not you're not one who's gonna kind of go off in a meeting, okay? You're the kind of person that you, next thing you know, the person is quitting their job or they're leaving. Or you're you're very very powerful, and uh, you know how to to assert your divine power, and you know how to create whatever you want. And the next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Sinai. And her message to you from your inner hulk is to do it now. So basically, Sinai is, she represents your second chakra, which is responsible for our, our emotions. If there is any issue that you are, like, you know, debating, should I, should I zap them or, sh no, I'm sorry, I'm joking. Um, I'm half joking. <laughs> your inner hulk is is a very polished beast okay your inner hulk does not play your inner hulk does not show rage in a way that you know like just come your inner hulk is, is a very wise wise being and very powerful and not to be messed with and you have a lot of knowledge and not a lot of wisdom you know how to handle yourself you know who you are. Self-knowledge makes you invincible. Um, you know who you are, but sometimes you don't always use that power. Um, it says a search your divine power. Do it now. If there's a situation that I think that you are in and you have been debating as to whether or not you should take care of it, your cars are saying do it now. Like, you know, go ahead. Maybe you need to... You know, do some things that we don't even want to discuss on my channel. Okay, I don't even want to. I don't even want to know what your inner hulk wants you to do. But if there is something or somebody who is bothering you, so and I, and I get because you have because you have the demander car who is creator. I know you are a peaceful being. You come in peace. <laughs> you come in peace. But Lord, let that peace be disturbed. Okay. So um. Yeah, so if there's a situation that is bothering you or you've been contemplating as to whether or not you should, you know, handle it because you're trying to, you know, not, you know, you because you know how powerful you are, you try not to always like, you know, show that, do the, do things. You try to give people a chance, but the hand is saying, uh, yeah, take care of it, do it now. So. Um, that's the message I have from your inner Hulk. Your inner Hulk is amazing. 
and powerful and your inner hog does not play so uh, let's see if there's a message for you from this Ellie and Bean thank you so much for coming is there an additional message for this person great power means knowing when to walk away You have great power. You have great wisdom. You are one of us. Be gentle, be kind, be compassionate. Do not exploit your power. Think twice. Listen, guys. I wish I. Okay, that is the message. I don't. I don't make these things up. What comes in, I try to share it. The cards are saying do it. The star alien being said, think about it, because you have so much power, and to, you know, use um, use good judgment. Use you know to be discerning about how you use your power. I don't know. Um, so anyway, that is the message I have for you. I really hope this helps someone. I thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Hello, darling. If you selected the teal blue butterfly this message is for you from your inner hulk first i'm going to go over the cards and then i am going to give you my collective intuition and check in and see if there's an additional message for you from this beautiful star alien being so the first card i have for you is from jungle well the jungle beauty goddess is father creator of the universe the matter stands for dark energy and matter which creates everything it says you are ruler you are the ruler of your reality your hulk is powerful child but let's see how much control you have the next card i have for you is from jungle beauty goddess kalahari which represents your heart chakra your ability to forgive to show compassion love and empathy self-love how do you feel about it your feelings matter okay let me go ahead and read your all your cards so i can see how it if this is interesting the next card i have for you is from jungle beauty goddess kalahari and her message to you is let's see love is an action that speaks clearly boldly and unapologetically sorry for this some heart chakra energy and you have the one card that says you are the ruler of reality let me see what the last card says so i can pull it together and the last card i have for you is from jungle beauty goddess of far and her message to you is to be creative and this represents your third eye your um your which is responsible for wisdom and your imagination. The message I'm picking up from your inner hulk is that you guys are best friends. You are a person who is really in touch with your emotions. You know how you feel. You know how to express your feelings. You are creative in how you communicate with people. Um, it says love is an action that speaks clearly, boldly, and unapologetically. You're the kind of person you tell people how you feel but in a way that they feel inspired inspired and enlightened and they feel um that they people grow from being around you it says how do you feel about it your feelings matter so we put in some strong heart chakra energy from you with from your inner hulk but your your inner hulk is does not suppress emotions your inner hulk is aware of his or her feelings but you're the kind of person that tell people exactly what is up but in a way that is 
dignified and classy. Um, you're not the kind of person who go off on people or um, have you know negative relationships with people because you know you have the card that says you are the ruler of your reality. You control your reality. You're not a person who you know is controlled by your emotions. And you're very creative and you're wise. So you have your third eye card from Jungle Beauty Goddess Afar. And you, um, it says be creative. But you, this card is saying that when you want to ask for a raise or tell a co-worker how you feel or talk to your partner or talk to your spouse or talk to your friends or communicate with anyone, you are very wise and creative in how you communicate with people. So your inner hawk, you guys are just like buds, okay? Your hawk knows how to come out of play. Your hawk doesn't just come out of play, but your hawk knows how to play fair, knows how to communicate, and um, people really enjoy talking to you, and people trust you and love you because you, like I said, you have two um, two cards from Jungle Beauty Guys Kalahari, which represents your heart chakra, which has to do with loving ourselves and loving other people and lo loving other people and being empathetic and compassionate as well. So you and your inner hawk, you know, your inner hawk is a very healthy, healthy being, part of you. So now I'm going to check in with this beautiful star alien being and see if there's an additional message for you from your inner hawk. Thank you so much for coming. Is there an additional message for this person that will help them? We are very proud of you. Keep doing what you are doing. That is all. That's it. I'm sorry, that's, that's it. Keep doing what you're doing. I really hope this message helps someone. Thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.